very good morning friends let us understand today the rectifier circuit in semiconductor so what do you mean by rectifier and what is its necessity actually rectifier is a device which can rectify whenever we use electronic gadgets it requires or it runs over dc dc means direct current so in order to get direct current either we have to use a battery or else we have to convert the alternating current which is con coming in your house or industry it into dc a required amount of dc it may be 12 volt it may be 24 volt or it may be 36 volt as per the requirement of that electronic device so in order to convert that alternating current into a direct current a device which is used is called as a rectifier circuit so your battery charger your mobile charger all inside that there is a rectification which converts ac into dc direct current so that is called as rectifier how the use of semiconductor comes into this rectification as you know that we have a semiconductor called as pn junction diode so this pn junction diode is used as a rectifier so this rectifier by using pn junction diode you can make a rectifier which will convert the alternating current into direct current so there are different types of rectifier circuit which we can make through pn junction diode one is called as half wave rectifier another is called as full wave rectifier and then there is a bridge rectifier so half wave rectifier the name itself tells half wave so ac cycle is a sine wave which which has a upper cycle and lower cycle in the form of sine wave there is a positive cycle and there is a negative cycle so which it changes its direction for every half cycle so alternating current is changing its direction for every half cycle so here the one cycle is only converted into dc re, uh, remaining uh, the other cycle is not converted so that type of rectification is called as half wave rectifier and in half wave rectifier we will use only a single diode so uh, as you know there is a in order to uh, 230 volt is coming in your house residential there we will use a step down transformer which will convert uh, for example if our device is 12 volt we have to have a step step down transformer which is converting alternating current up to 30 volt to 12 volt ac now to the end of the secondary coil we will convert a connect a single diode in a circuit and it behaves as a half wave rectifier through the load resistance we can take a half wave rectification of a dc now if you want a full wave rectification then we have to connect a two diodes if we are connecting two diodes and a load resistance in the output of a transformer step down transformer then that type of uh, rectification is called as full wave rectification where we are using two diodes and there is a third type of recti rectifier which is using four diodes that is called as bridge rectifier where uh, even a residual ac is converted into dc pure dc so we will use a where pure dc is required you people use a bridge rectifier here four number of diodes are used so we have half wave rectifier full wave rectifier and a bridge rectifier so this rectifier is made by using a um, diodes a load resistance a switch and a transformer step down transformer so these are the device so now we came to know what are rectifier in next class i'll teach how to construct a half wave rectifier full wave rectifier and a bridge rectifier so this was the purpose of rectification in order to run all the electronic devices we require direct current and this direct current uh, uh, will come through rectification by converting alternating current to a direct current uh, by using a step down transformer and this diode otherwise we have to take a battery in every condition we can't use battery so for that purpose we use a rectifier and which are using pn junction diode so today's class regarding rectification this much next class we will learn how to construct a half wave full wave and bridge rectifier till then have a nice day